and they must be here any minute now. Oh god bless this restaurant. Hi, um, sit down. So, what can I do for you today? Hmm, your girlfriend is being distant lately. Wait, you're going out with Fuka? Okay, okay, okay. But first of all, tell me how everything started. But have you considered what Fuka really intended to say? <laughs> Alright, I'll help you. We'll head out to the shrine. Fuka's there to deliver something for the upcoming new year. <laughs> well, are you ready? Hi. Okay, no abductions, no explosions. That's the most important one. Speaking of which, we have a lot of food stalls here. Oh, you know what? Before we head to the shrine, let's grab a bite, shall we? <laughs> Today's guide video will focus on the two ladies from Gehenna, Kurudate Haruna and Aikyo Fuka. For the upcoming new year, they wear their lovely kimonos. Still the same as ever, Haruna is strolling around the shrine grounds as she pursues her gastronomic quest to find the best festival food in Kavaros. Foka, on the other hand, is out to deliver her feast for the occasion. Hmm? What's wrong? Haruna? Hey, no, stop. Just calm down. Don't do it, Haruna. You're not bombing this stuff. For each section of this video, we're going to discuss Haruna and then Fuka. Haruna Supreme is an explosive sniper unit who has a higher affinity on field stages but has a lower affinity to urban areas. She uses mandrakes and Asian batteries as level up materials. A 3 star level 85 with tier 8 equipment and without any stat bonuses, Haruna has 29,471 HP, 4,927 attack, 979 crit, and 224% crit damage. At relationship rank 20 of both versions of herself, Haruna gains an additional 238 attack and 1,035 max HP, raising her rarity to 5 stars EW30 will improve her HP and attack by 6,287 and 1,999 respectively. Reaching the current peak of her potential at EW50 will grant her an additional 1085 HP and 372 attack. In comparison with her fellow explosive snipers, she currently has the third highest attack only beaten by Aru and Smolshun. Her equipment is composed of a pair of gloves, a hairpin, and a watch. This set is one of the standards of her sniper build, where crit chance is given emphasis over crit damage. Her exclusive weapon is her beloved HNK PSG-1 sniper rifle, which has always been with her as she partakes in her gastronomic quest. Ideal. At 2 stars, her enhanced skill is upgraded with an additional effect. We will discuss more about this later. At 3 stars, her affinity on field areas is upgraded to SS. That means she deals 1.3 times more damage on field stages. Additionally, she has more block rate and more chances to ignore enemy block rate. Since Haruna is damage oriented, leveling up your exclusive weapon will be extremely beneficial for her. At the very least, go for EW40, which will significantly improve her damage output. Now we've seen the overview of Haruna's stats, let's move on to Fuka. Fuka is a support specialist who offers buffs to her allies. She uses Nemo Sky Disc and Voynich Manuscripts as level up materials. At 3 star level 85 with tier 8 equipment and without any stat bonuses, Fuka has 39,872 HP, 3,811 attack, 400 defense, and 7,620 healing. At relationship rank 20 of both versions of herself, Fuka gains an additional 525 max HP, 65 attack, and 418 healing. Raising your rarity to 5 stars EW30 will improve your HP, attack, and healing by 7,885. 1547 and 2780 respectively. Further increasing her exclusive weapon to level 50 will grant her an additional 1261 HP, 288 attack, and 513 healing. Her equipment is composed of a pair of shoes, a badge, and a necklace. This set gives a considerable amount of HP and some attack. So far, only Fuka, Shizuko Simsut, and Hatsune Miku share this equipment set. At her current maximum potential, Fuka shares 4984 HP, 582 attack, 20 defense, and 602 healing. In comparison with the other two aforementioned units, Fuka shares the most in every stat. Her exclusive weapon is her HNK MP7 submachine gun that she rarely uses. 
She wishes to stay that way this year, but sometimes things don't go her way. Launch Club Defense Gun, Type A. A 2 stars and a hand skill is upgraded with an additional flat healing. We'll get more into this in the next section. At 3 stars, her affinity indoors is improved to SS. Just like other support specialists, Wuka focuses on her skills. So, her exclusive weapon upgrades are for more stat shares. Now we've seen Fulka and Haruna's stats, let's see if they're actually good to their skills. In this section, we will discuss their skills on their maximum level. Haruna's 5-cost EX skill is called Gurman's Rage. And whenever she tasted something rather unpleasant, she goes ballistic, and she targets and bombs 5 different enemies, dealing 202 damage to them and an additional 98.7 damage to both the target and the enemies around the circular area. Take note that if there are less than 5 targets around her range, she iterates back to the first target. So, no explosion is wasted. If there's only one target, they take all of the 10 instances of damage. You'd already know that this is designed specially against the Kaiden Ray. In the first phase, she can target all 5 of them. And in the next phase, she can focus all of her explosions at the robot. She can also nullify its shield just enough. So, is Haruna going to replace Aru? The answer is... No. Aru still packs a lot of damage with her upgraded basic skill, her hardboard shot, and her crit and crit damage self buffs. Despite Aru having B rank on field and Haruna having S or SS rank, Aru can potentially finish the first phase on insane difficulty in approximately 40 seconds. But it doesn't mean that Haruna is bench for that season because you can definitely bring her on torment. Despite its damage potential, like when the enemies are grouped closely together, or if the damage focuses on one enemy, this skill suffers from its low multipliers. But even so, this is easily redeemed by her other skills. Haruna's basic skill is called Gurman's Creep, and for every 40 seconds, she increases her own attack by 30.3% for 30 seconds. It only has a 10 second window between each activation, but it suffers from the delay of the first activation, and also by the length of its animation. Because of this, the skill is pretty much helpful on longer fights like Torment Kaiten. Haruna's enhanced skill is called Two Years Viant, and this skill increases her attack by 26.6%. On her 2-star exclusive weapon, this skill has an additional effect which increases her explosive effectiveness by 49.4%. Given that everything is maxed, her enhanced skill increases her attack by 1450. And finally, her sub skill is called Farewell Desert. And with this skill, her attacks have a 20% chance to reduce the target's defense by 14.8% for 17 seconds. This skill has a 5 second cooldown between each activation. This is similar to Asusa Swim's sub skill, but it has a lower chance to activate, the potency of the defense break is slightly weaker, although it has a longer duration. Let's move on with focus skills. Her E skill is called Skull Launch Club's Osuchi, and this skill reduces an ally's E skill cost by half for one time and decreases their crit damage by 32.1% for 35 seconds. This skill initially costs 3, but it can be reduced to 2 at level 5. In comparison with Akko, the crit damage potency is significantly weaker, but considering that Fuka can also do one time cost reduction at a very low cost, she's actually helpful in certain formations wherein you need to save one striker slot instead of using Ui. This EX skill is very helpful on units with expensive EX skills. Fuka's basic skill is called Tasting Time. And for every 60 seconds, she grants a barrier that scales with 227% of her healing to an ally with the lowest current HP and this lasts for 20 seconds. Because of the extremely long delay between activations, this skill is unreliable but helpful if it lands at the right time. Fuka's enhanced skill is called the best bite, and this skill increases her healing by 26.6%. At her 2-star exclusive weapon, this skill gets an additional effect which further increases her healing by 1324. Plugging her enhanced skill into the equation, her healing is increased by 4394. And finally, her sub skill is called School Launch Club's Snack. And this skill increases the attack of all allies by 17.3%, making her usable as a stat stick. Haruna focuses on her EX skill, which is heightened by her stat buffs, so go for her EX skill first. It's up to you if you want to prioritize her basic or enhanced skill next, since both of them are her source of attack buffs. And finally, go for her sub skill. On the other hand, Fuka's main dish is her EX skill and sub skill, while the others are just for the shield. So go for her EX skill first to reduce its cost, then go for her sub skill, enhanced skill, and then basic skill. Now we've seen the skills of Haruna and Fuka, let's point out their strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with Haruna. 
Her skill set is well suited in Kaiten. As previously mentioned, Haruna can target all 5 rangers, as well as focus all of her shots on the robot. Since each explosion hits twice, it's just enough to deplete Kaiten's shield. Despite Auto still being a better choice in Insane, Haruna is still great for your next team on Torment. She's not only good in Kaiten, but also in PvE and Outdoor PvP. With her EX skill, she can easily wipe out waves in PvE. And in Outdoor PvP, she can potentially wipe out an entire enemy team. Because of her sniper range, she can target and knock out Shun, Mika, and other dealers with ease. Although, of course, Haruna can be countered by multiple units. If Luff is not by your side, the enemy team can use their Haruna's EX skill faster than yours. Shun, Ibiki, Nagisa, and Iroha can easily snipe her out. Otoha with her unique equipment can use her 3 turrets from her basic skill to distract Haruna's target. It's important to note that Haruna's damage output significantly improves once you raise her exclusive weapon to 2 stars. So, you might want to use her stockpile Eligma or pull her from her limited banner multiple times to get that huge difference. Let's move on with Fuka. The best thing about Fuka is her extremely cheap EX skill and that can provide two great buffs at once. Despite the cost discount that only lasts for a single use and the crit damage provided is far inferior compared to Akko's. This can save a slot on your team and lets you construct a more efficient one. Having Fuka and Himari enables faster rotation compared to a team with Ui, Akko, and Himari. Since Akko's crit damage buff is way more potent than Fuka's, if we're talking about the damage output between Fuka Himari versus Ui, Akko, Himari, clearly the latter wins. Honestly, it really depends on the fight itself on which approach is better. In conclusion, are they actually good? Definitely, yes. Haruna offers massive explosion damage which we can utilize not only on her rate of expertise but also in PvE and PvP. Despite not being the number one pick in Kaiten, she's still a solid unit that you can put on your next team. Fuka, on the other hand, offers two of the most important buffs in the game at a very low cost. It may have slightly weaker effects compared to Oi and Akko, but this allows you to construct a team where faster bursts are recommended. Both of their Yui variations are limited, so I wish you the best of luck. And that's it for Haruna and Fuka's guide video. We briefly analyzed their capabilities in their respective roles based on their stats and skills. So, if you want more Blue Archive content and streams, then go ahead and subscribe now. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash That's it for now, and... Hmm? Oh, I see them. いただいてもよいのでしょうか。早くなさってください。私も恥ずかしいのですが。ほら。ああ。本当に嬉しいです。これからもお願いしますね。はい。<笑>